um, regarding the last experiment, regarding this experiment, you could ask now, uh, or you can, um, if you wanna kind of one-on-one, -on -one, you can wait until the pre-lab discussion is finished, and then you ask questions. But if it's something that you think the answer is going to help the students, everyone in class, please ask your question during the class. Maybe the answer would help someone else as well. Okay, any questions for me? Professor, the last uh, video that we had done on week three, um, mm -hmm. it was made easier because you were telling us exactly what we were looking at, but I had a very difficult time seeing whether a precipitate formed or, I mean, even the color, you did show it against the white background so I could tell it was yellow, but I guess just because of the video quality, it's not like looking at it in person. Okay. Uh, what you would, what you would, uh, uh, f formation of a precipitate, it's, uh, I, I understand is not easy to see it via like the camera, but when you look at the, um, the transparency of the liquid, when you see like yellow color, and then also it's cloudy, if you cannot see the writing on the other side, or if you were trying to hold something on the other side, you cannot like a read then it's uh if it's cloudy it's precipitate when it forms a solid um in a chemical reaction when it forms solid it doesn't mean that the whole liquid is going to change like rock solid uh, it just it's just enough to turn cloudy like uh when you have let's say like dusty even that is is a precipitate so especially if you see a color uh, a new color forming, like the color change, that would help. I hope that at least for your unknown, you can use that as the reference or as evidence for precipitation. So when you see uh, it turns cloudy, it's not clear solution anymore, you can consider that formation of precipitate. Okay, if thank you. You're welcome. Um, any other questions you might have from pre-lab? Post lab or from the video or anything that. Uh, uh, what about today's experiment? Any questions about today's experiment? You know what we are doing today, right? Very similar to week two of the experiment one. Now we are going to work with the unknown um, of the group three. Uh, when you look at the unknown, then you want to see if there is zinc, chromium, manganese, nickel, or iron. So the evidence that you saw, the evidences that you, you gathered from last experiment is going to help you, especially if you have them in, in writing. Uh, when you, when you um, write the table, when you complete the table in your mini lab report, the last column it is asking for um, inferences or evidences for the reaction or evidence for presence or absence of any of the ions that somebody it can help you a lot for the for the unknown so like what actually did you see that you said chromium was present or manganese was present one thing about manganese please keep in mind if it stays for a longer time it turns from purple color it turns to brown color because under that condition is going to change to, um, is going to be reduced from permanganate, which is a purple color, into manganese dioxide, which is a brown color. So you have to see it right away. So if you, if you don't see like a purple color, you would see like a purple ring on top. Um, that's probably saw what, what you saw in the known sample also. So it turns uh, it turns quickly to brown color, but um, a lots of like precipitate or dark solution it does actually um, indicate that you do have it's going to be like brownish purple color. And for iron is very very easy to see um, that is like a bloody bloody red color, and nickel like a strawberry red color. 
and you are looking for some cloudy uh, solution with that color. Um, chromium and zinc, again, is not going to be as obvious as the ones that you had, um, as obvious as iron or manganese. But if you compare the known sample to unknown, it would make it easier. Do you have any questions for me? Because if you don't have questions, since it's, it's kind of a routine of the same experiments you've done before, I don't want to take too much of the time today. I'm going to let you um, go ahead and start your unknown earlier. Yes, Nia, your question. Okay, so for, um, what was it, zinc, when we were confirming it, the precipitate at the bottom, was it that it was, it was a grayish color just with a bluish tint because there is iron in there, but the mm -hmm. zinc itself, the zinc, I'm not sure the name of it, but its original <laughs> color is like gray? Yes. Is, okay. Yes, so, so what you want to do for the unknown, you want to see how close is to what you had for the known sample. So whatever happens for the known sample, it would be ha it will happen for the unknown as well. But since we know for sure that the known uh, sample contains zinc, it is, uh, if, you, if you see similar evidences, then you could say it's present. Any other questions you might have? Professor, this is going to be the last week that we do the mini lab reports, right? Yes, this is oh. the last week. Starting wow. next uh -huh. starting next experiment, which is kinetic, you only have the pre-lab and you have your your um, data sheet, which is like you do calculation, you record your, your numbers, your data, then you do uh, any calculation that is needed, but it tells you in the data sheet what is exactly needs to be included. As long as you show your work, you should be fine. Okay. And if there is any additional questions, sometimes there's additional questions as well. Uh, for the uh, mini lab report, many of you did fine uh, with that uh, mini lab report. Just please be mindful of writing the evidences on the last column when you are writing the table because that table is where it should show what is the what is um, the evidence for uh, indicating if the ion was present or absent. When you are writing the for the unknown sample, some of them it would be you know om omitted because it's not there. If it's not there, you don't have to include it. That's okay. But if the ion is there, you have to say why it's, what's the evidence, what shows that the ion is present or what shows that the ion was absent. Especially when you're writing conclusion, you have to say something, which ions were present and what was the evidence that showed that ion was present and what is absent and how do you say it's absent. Maybe you would say the strawberry red color did not appear, uh, you were expecting, and since it didn't form, that means nickel is absent. Like a statement, like short a statement like that. You don't have to include the whole procedure, but just the part that is like kind of important to, to accept or deny presence of one of the ions. Okay, any other questions? Oh, just one thing, I'm sure all of you by this time you have purchased your ebook already. If you did not submit the confirmation number into the assignment folder, you will not be able to see the, uh, the assignment folder for experiment two, which is kinetic for next week. So I know this happened in the past that a student purchased the ebook but did not submit the confirmation number and until end of semester did not realize that it's missing a couple of assignments. Um, so please make sure make sure that um, you submit your um, confirmation number into the assignment folder. If the assignment folder, in case it is closed, you send me an email, I will open. But it should be open um, for until the end of the second experiment at least and you that's the time that you realize you don't see the assignment. Okay, any uh, questions you might have? If you don't have questions, I'm going to call attendance so we can go ahead and watch the video. 
Um, this is for attendance. Megan? Here. Thank you. Um, Tiziana? Here. Juan? Juan? That's not good. Here. Uh, oh, you're here. Okay. Were you here last class? Yes, I was here last class. Why do I have accent for you? Um, I don't know. When you called you... him, I was I was here. I said, All right. you call my name, and I said here." Okay, then I have to look at I have to look at the recording. That's okay. I'm gonna put the question mark here, so I go back and check the attendance because the Blackboard Collaborate also takes attendance like periodically on the um, participants. So that's if if it's recorded, that's uh, that's a good thing about the Blackboard Collaborate. It makes it easy for me. Saima, <clears throat> but I'm glad you told me, so at least I look for it. Saima? Saima? See, I called three times. And if I, they don't answer, even though they are logged in, what can I do? Calling attendance three times. Saima? Okay. Robert? In, thank you. Um, Natalie? Aline? Janelle? Here. Thank you. Simon said her internet is glitching. Okay. Caitlin. Isabella? Here. That's okay. So thank you. Uh, thank you for letting me know. So let me put present for Simon. Okay. Uh, Nia? Andre, Camilla, here. Thank you, Kayla. Here. Good, Jonica. Thank you, Neftali. Neftali. Alex, I saw you sending the message. Crystal, Crystal S, right? Crystal, that's okay. Um, Alana, Navid, thank you. Daniela, that's okay, Simon. I got um, Daniela. Luke? Here. Thank you. Naya? Sabrina? <clears throat> and Yobin? Thank you so much. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, you may stay. If you don't have questions, thank you so much. Have a nice day. You can start your uh, watching the video. Um, carefully so you can observe the evidences for presence or absence of each of the ions in the conclusion for the unknown. Please include um, the evidences that shows presence or absence of the ions. So I want to see all five ions in the conclusion, either present or absent. Thank you. And can you make a table for those of you who are still here, like a summarize? Ions present, up, ions absent for the conclusion. So at the beginning or at the end, just say ions present and ions absent, please. Thank you.
Okay, Alana, I won't be able to grade um, submissions via email. So please, it needs to be submitted into the assignment folder. I cannot grade in the uh, in the email format, attachment to the email. So if you submit it, you said that you submitted, I turned in the wrong file, okay. It is closed now. This is specifically week two post lab. Okay. Yes, week two post lab assignments. Is a week two pre lab, week two post lab assignment. I'm going to um, leave it open. The new submit is going to say late, and because it's late, it's going to have a late point. Uh, and I'm going to leave it open for um, day. That means today. You need to submit to the folder. Uh, you have to click on the, that assignment to see that it's open. It's not going to show on the calendar as the, as the, because the due date has passed, but it is available. I made it available. This was for assignment uh, for the uh, experiment one week two post lab. It's open now. Uh, Megan, your question. Yes, I have a question about my my mini lab grade from last week. Sure. Okay. Let me um, go to the, your mini lab report. And that was, uh, can you tell me which one? Is it week two mini lab or week one? Which one? Do you remember? Was it experiment one week one mini lab or week two mini lab report? It's week two mini lab. Week two mini lab report. So I'm going to open the submissions. These submissions and look for Megan. Um, what happened, Megan? That you did you uh, you did not open a new document to create your what? Uh, I don't know what happened. That uh, there was a problem. Let me see. What um it doesn't say there's a problem. I was gonna say that it says seventy percent is okay. is on okay, just a minute, just a minute, Megan. Megan, I have um I have three other students in class. If you want to talk about like if you don't mind, I don't have any problem. I can even share the the screen and I show you uh if if you think that the your grade is lower than what it should be, I can share with you how I grade it. But I want to keep the you know privacy of the grade. I if you want to wait for the for the other students to get their questions answered, they leave and then we talk. Or you want me to explain it to you now? You we tell me what now, you because a lot of people have the same problem. Sure. Okay, okay, no problem at all. No problem. Um, we can do that now. So uh, I'm going to. Bring this. Okay, the um, turn it in is a is a tool that would show similarity. Okay, would show similarity. We do have like three students or four maybe that they had similar problems, and uh, it showed much higher than what it should have been. And when I click on that, okay, when I click on the turn it in. I understand that your uh, data can be the same. The chart, like these stuff, because they are common. Uh, do you see the screen now? Or no, no? All it's, it's frozen on like the before. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me stop sharing this and start sharing a new tab. And that would be this 
Right. So uh, you see, this is the report from Turnitin. Yeah, like, Anything, why, is that, why is the title even highlighted when that's stuff that you put uh, there? Can you please read that and I will explain to you? Okay, and then if if you, if I don't answer the question, your you know concern, then you can you have the time. So let me just explain what happens. So if there is anything that is coming from like inside the table, I I take this as you know a repeated. I sometimes I say students they didn't start create a new flowchart and they used the one from known sample, it's possible. If that happens, the similarity, if the flow chart is repeated from the known sample, the similarity should add up to like 30%, okay? And then uh, the, uh, the observation, uh, the, any observation when it's a new mini lab report, it should be a new observation like you write. And I would, you know, even this one would add to like 40%. When the conclusion is very similar, then it's going to be um, this like, it's it shows that you did not take uh, the time to write a new conclusion. You started with the old one that you had and you added some words here. And I really don't know, I don't remember what the, what was the grade, I take some points off as a reminder that the the state the the document is tested against the Turnitin or is evaluated by Turnitin. They're not supposed to be all exact same reports uh, with previous submission and with the uh, with the uh, another students. Right, so but we're all supposed to have basically the same chart, the same data sheet. And our conclusion is supposed to have the same words in it. So I don't understand why my whole data sheet, my whole data sheet is highlighted for similarity when we're all supposed to have the same data sheet. Okay. And my flowchart has all the same things that everyone's supposed to have in it, and it's highlighted. So if we have one, if we have one um, document that is is written like newly and it doesn't have to be exact same writing from the uh, from the other people I mean your writing style is not exact same as other people right right so if I, if I if I shared you the other if I go back and share the other one, the similarity starts from like thirteen percent. We have thirteen percent, fourteen, sixteen. Um, I didn't even take any similarity that was like less than thirty five percent. But if the similarity goes higher, um, this is not a place for really punishment this is a place to learn like if the percent similarity is higher than 20 percent when you submit a, um, a paper any paper in graduate school it's the that's the last day that you would see the graduate school and the, the school actually makes you to to leave the school they don't like that it has happened in the past to a student from the very that I actually knew the department and because of this this is like this is a training when you write a document in chemistry it has to be original document I understand that your your week one is very similar to week two but it doesn't yeah, that's what like on week one and week two I, on the 60 and saying that everything's similar Yes, exactly. And Megan, did you start new document for your week to yes, mini lab? Yes, I don't use part of my new document. I made a new document. That's what I do every time. Document? You did make a new document? Yes, I did make a new document. It's not like I, I copied from my old document. I created a new document, and that's why well, I don't it, understand. It is allowed. So what I'm what what actually I did for you um i um, requested to get the original one um, because it does tell me um if it's coming from 
it does tell me if it's coming from um, your own or it's coming from someone else's. This one here, it shows which document and it does tell me here that was submitted to the Broward, uh, like the submitted to the Broward Community College. And I did request that document. It takes time for me to get it. And if that comes back and it shows that if the similarity is coming from your own document, from which one, the grades that you lose is going to be much lower and it will be adjusted. But if it comes and it shows that it was exact match to someone else's document, then, then the grade will stay for this one. And for the next one, I'm going to, um, for, for, to give a, like a second chance for second submission. Okay. But I wanted to, I want to make sure that we learn um, also from the how to write and how to paraphrase it. Sometimes it is hard because, because the recipe is the same, the evidences are the same, but believe me, it's not impossible to paraphrase it in a way that the sentence doesn't look like exact same as your own previous submission or someone else's paper. I mean, both is, conclusions from the first one and the second one are very similar. They are similar. Exactly. But it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that you cannot change it. You can change the order. You can change start from like writing about the iron first before writing about copper, or from or you write about bismuth first before you write about copper. You can make the difference. You can. It's not impossible to change it. And this is not the time for me to get you and say, oh, I got you. I'm going to, to do this and to do that. No, it's not that. I'm just giving you warning. And the, when I, there is a verbal warning, it has no effect. But when it's, a, it's associated with the grade, it's going to stay for longer. And I even was considered enough, not that I, I want to say I'm the special person, but I request that paper. And if it comes back your own paper, Megan, I'm going to take, you know, give some points back to you. But if it if it matches someone else's paper from the class, then I'm not going to give you points back. But I will allow you like a resubmission for your experiment three or week three, and it's going to help you. A, a point like or even five points is not going to make a difference in your final grade. But the fact that we have these discussions, the fact that you actually cared about your grade and you did take the time to talk about it and see how you can improve your writing in scientific writing in order to get the percent similarity lower, that's more valuable. I don't know, I'm sure today you might be upset with your grade, but when you practice and when you write differently, that is not going to show similarity to your even to your own. You are going to be more satisfied and happier in future because you're taking, you know, chemistry because you want to be a science major or pre-med or whatever major that you have is dealing with science. And this is a good training for you. I hope you don't get upset over this because this is a learning process. It's not punishment. There's no time for punishment here. Right. And it's not, said, you said that it's not I should punishment. change the way I do my conclusions, but we're supposed to do the conclusions by the steps. Like, what do you what do you want us to start from? Like the last step in the beginning, and then go to the. No, 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 no. Can you can you just rewrite this? What you have here? Try to rewrite it and resubmit it. I'm going to leave it open. Resubmit this paper to me. Write it again and and resubmit and send it to me. And what? Just change words? Just. No. You know, you uh, when you try, okay, when you try, you see how it's going to come back. I'm going to give you time, one week time, rewrite this statement and send it back to me. Do, do, then you know how to have to write it. I'm, I'm sure when you try to rewrite it in a way that looks different, you can do it. It's not impossible. It's not impossible to do it. Uh, go ahead and, and resubmit this, okay? Resubmit and I will regrade it for you. Okay. Okay. I'm going to leave it open and add the submissions, number of submissions, so you can resubmit this paper. But I'm sure you can you can write it 
differently. You can change one, some of the words. It doesn't have to be uh, exact same. Okay, that be. I'm going to stop sharing this document because someone else might have different question. And then I wait for. Uh, let me also. Let me also do this at this time. Perfect. I'm going to. Yes. Um, I wanted to talk to you about my. Um. Two of my grades. One was. Okay, let me open this uh, right now before I forget. I'm going to um, open it uh, to mini lab. I'm going to change the due date to the 16th. This way, uh, anyone else who wants to resubmit with the, that they had high percentage, they have the chance. I mean, I'm I didn't good. have much of a high percentage. I only had 41%. And the only part that like was mostly highlighted was my data like my data sheet and my flow chart. My conclusion uh, was really highlighted. Okay, highlighted. Simon, Simon, is that you? Okay. Yeah. Simon, let me um, let me check it and see. So you already saw what was highlighted? Yeah, I already looked through the entire document. And okay, like, good. If, good. If I didn't yeah. like if Turnitin didn't highlight my data sheet. And like the title and flowchart and all of those, I'm confident that my turn it in score would have probably been under twenty percent. Okay. Okay. So I I um I take it I I don't disagree with you, uh, but we can check it again just to make okay. sure. I just okay. don't feel like turn it in is like the most effective way, or like if it is, you shouldn't base our grade just off of it because there's okay. a lot more. Good. Most of it is that's highlighted is supposed know, to be the same. Okay. Do you know how many papers you turn in? I only I only check turn it in for only one of the four mini lab report. So it doesn't mean that I am I'm grading I'm reporting your final grade based on um, turn it in similarity. It doesn't it's not even relevant. I mean, so, in my feedback, you wrote 51% yes. turn it in similarity. Yes, uh -huh. yes I did. Because I points off. So that's okay, what, I'm, going, that's to, what I I'm would going to I'm going to ask you to resubmit, okay? Resubmit the document and try to uh, create a new flowchart and write again. Uh, because when we when we try to challenge in the past, it has happened in the past. Try to challenge turn it in. They even said like the 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 number of the word that was counted between the the first word and the the similar word like the hundredth word. It it was thinking about like too many factors, and it's something that every university is using now for similarity check. It's not something that we say, well, no, we can we can use it. It's like a turbo tax. I mean, I've it's, never had it's, an issue ever, and I've, I'm, like, part English major, and I've taken okay. numerous amounts of English courses, and I've never had Simon, a problem with turn it in ever. So driving, writing, writing in, um, like, an article in different field that takes different skills, and I want to introduce this, like, writing, scientific writing I, also. I agree. Yes. I agree with you that it does, it's a different, like, field set, but... So it just needs practice. This I, is not time to be upset like, about a a, a similarity. I control. Like I uh, can't control that it's highlighting my flowchart and my data sheet mostly. And like that's not fair to me because the flowchart, if I were to change anything, it would be wrong. With the data sheet, if I were to change anything, it would be wrong. That is supposed to be the exact same format of it. And the exact thing I should be saying dark brown precipitate form, okay. uh, light fluid precipitate the, form. The grade and, and what the, the comment is, tell me, did you start a new flowchart? Did you create a new flowchart? I, or I, drew, you I drew my own flowchart. I know, but did you start with the new one going from yes, week one? Yes, I started a new one. For week two? Yes. Yes? Yes. 
I start my own documents for everything. Okay. Can you and try? Can you try it one more time? Can you try it one more time? To resubmit the entire document, just like as it is. Yes. Yeah, I can do that for you. No problem. But change it. Okay. What part change. should I change? If I change anything, it's wrong. Just for example, the conclusion for week one and then week two are almost exactly the same, aside from maybe seven to ten steps. I have the exact same, you know, da da da. We're knowing all the cation solutions. This was known. This was not known. This was known. This was not known. Okay. It's the same format, correct? As, then, as I did explain to Megan, for for anyone that I took points off, I requested the copy of the paper that it says is is similar. It takes time for for it to send it to me. Who was it? And uh, because it has to come to, to me, I have to approve it. And then they send it because if it was coming from like a FIU, then I had to request FIU to send this paper to me. I know that it's coming from either me or Dr. Benjamin because we are the only ones who require the mini lab report. So I'm waiting for the document. Now, if the document is exact, uh, if, it's, if it's your own submission from which it's one? My own submission. Okay. Then, then I'm going to take some points, give some points back. But if it's I mean, a I only, lost, I only lost three points. It's not like I got like a twenty percent. But I, I put in my time and my effort into all of my work, and I spent over four hours doing that mini lab. And then when I see that I got three points taken off because of turn it in similarity, which was not even my fault, I, I'm going to. It's going to make me upset because I did my work. I did my part. So I don't think that that grade is like accurate at all because I did every single thing by myself. And the only thing that got highlighted was the stuff that was supposed to be the same. If I did anything else from that work, it would have been incorrect. I think that's what I'm trying to convey to you. Like there's not like another option for me to like do. Uh, try, try, try it again. Try to resubmit this paper again. And you'd be surprised. And you're, you didn't even make a flow chart following the, are you sure I took points up for that? Yes. You didn't make a flow chart. I did. It's drew in. No, that's drawing in like a hand drawing and handwritten flow chart? No, no, no. I have my own flow chart. Like I, I drew it with a sketch pen. It's not typed out. It's drew. Like I drew it. And you couldn't make the lines even straight lines? I mean, I tried. It, it was it, much. Well, I, I sent you a document to, to how to how to draw a flow chart. I mean, I did this for my previous chemistry class and I did it for my bio class. And that was fine. Like, that's all I do for all of my bio and my chemistry classes. And nobody has told you to, to make the lines straight and try to make it like a, looking like a flowchart? I mean, no. I, I haven't gotten any negative response from it. I only get A's. I've never gotten a B in my, like, life. Okay. If, if three points from the, the 600 points that we have or 700 points that we have, it doesn't mean that you will get a B because of this, or even if you lose like 10 points, it's not going to change your grade. But I am, I, I understand, you know, um, today you might be concerned about the three points, but what I'm concerned about, like drawing flowchart, this is not, it doesn't look like flowchart. These lines needs to be straight lines, even if you're drawing it with a sketch pen. pen. I mean, How long? All mine. I don't know what you want me to do. I can't physically. Would it be okay if I drew my flowchart on paper and then I attached it to the submission? Is well, that okay? Look, the learning process of drawing flowchart is so valuable that you might only learn in this uh, class. Because I don't teach that in any other labs. This is the I know how lab. to draw a flow chart. The only thing is I don't like typing it out. I that's like I feel like it doesn't like it's not really a good flow chart if it's typed out. That's why I draw it. It's just easier. And like well, obviously we're be, not 
it could be easier and it's it's even it's going to be like it's going to take less time if you don't spend the time to make the lines straight like i, I said mean, i've never had an issue with any other professor on my flow chart oh uh, i i do not this is not professional this is not professional flowchart. Have you seen any article with this flowchart? Submissions to any A pages to like American Chemical Society? I'm not trying to make it a big deal, but drawing a flowchart is learning uh, objective for this course, drawing a flowchart. And if you try not to, like if you try to use the shortcut or, or not even spend this enough time to make longer. it straight. It takes longer to do. Drawing I know. it with your own longer. hand takes longer to do. Uh, instead, I'm putting in more time and more effort. But I mean, okay, if you want a typed out one, I can do that for you. It doesn't yes. bother. Yes, you actually lost point for the flowchart. I remember that these lines, it, this doesn't look like flowchart. Like someone who, who draw a table instead of flowcharts filled in lost point for that because it didn't look like flowchart. Flowchart is looks flowchart. You have a sample in the ebook. That's how flowchart looks like. The lines are straight, and uh, the writing is typed in. Okay. I, well, I, I see that I wasn't told for my feedback that I lost points because of the flowchart. Okay. So I can I can change that. I'm sorry. That, no, I'm sorry. That, uh, but, as long as she gets the concept of making a flowchart, what's the point of making it neat? And I kind of agree with that. It has to be presentable. It has to be professional. And you make the flowchart. Uh, you re you resubmit the flowchart part only, and I give the three points back. Okay, that's fine. I agree with that one hundred percent. I'm sorry. Okay. Like I I'll do that. I no okay. worries about that. Okay. You you have to submit a flowchart to me. Not you know. No I, I don't think I'm sharing it now. But no, I'm you're sure not. I know what you're it. talking about though. I know what okay. you're talking. About. Okay. Um, as I'll long as we agree on something that is, you know, that's not the flowchart that I expect from you. That's um, not an issue at all. I don't mind okay. resetting at all. And do you think I could do that for week one as well? Because you did mention flowchart for that. That was the only reason sure. I lost points on week. So could you open that for me as well whenever you get a chance? Uh, one, one, one. We, uh, you pick which one. Which one do you want to take? This one or the last one? Resubmission. Uh, yeah. One. One Could is submission. The week two. Okay. Do the week two. Um yeah, the only thing in the week one I lost points on was the flow chart. So I wanted to just ask you about that. But Yes, okay. it's no flow chart, you lose points for the flow chart. And if you repeat the same thing again for the week three, you would lose points. I hope yeah, you did I, I already submitted week three and I didn't even know that. Like I didn't know that my drawing of the flow chart was an issue like yes, I was aware. yes you probably got one comment at least either for the it me, just says uh, that there's no lines around the box uh -huh. like, there should be a box around it that was the only point and then this time and week three the one i just submitted today or yesterday i did put boxes so i didn't make that correction but i didn't know that drawing it was the issue until just it, now no the drawing it is an issue if it's not a straight line is an issue please make the box and type in the numbers. It takes time, but this is the only place you can learn about the flowchart. And it's going to help you in many ways in the future. Uh, it's not a busy work. This is just learning, you know, chemical reactions, because this is the technique that you, when you take the lab, you learn often not, not lecture, not every lecture is going to teach you how to, every chemistry lecture would teach you how to draw a flowchart. But that's the competency and learning objective with this course. It's part of the education. General education is not something that I'm making up. So please submit the flowchart. Um, um, and one and more question. then I get the points back for, for this one, for the week two. Um, for the week three, I also did my flowchart like that. and uh, But I do have the boxes. And I made the correction that I saw in the yeah. comments. Okay, well, I it point looks out. professional, Simon. Does it look professional? The lines are straight, then keep it. If not, resubmit it. If you resubmit uh, isn't it, it's it be closed because it was due. Last no, week? it's not closed. It, it's past due, but it's not closed. Okay, so I'll resubmit the flowchart for week three. Sure. 
it, will it be late or anything or is that okay no, no the late assignment late submission is based on the first submission that you have for the folder so if you have a correction oh, and you okay. resubmit it it doesn't count late gotcha all right well thank you i appreciate it and like i i just wanted to bring it to your attention because i was extremely frustrated but i appreciate you i am i am glad i i it's not easy to talk and and convince people who are not you know um satisfied with their grade but i am happy if anyone brings up and that we use that time as the teaching moment try to convince the students or make it clear that when you are when you are really you know uh, making mistake you learn from your mistakes this is going to help you more in the long term than just learning what what are the items in the inside the boxes because right. those items change from one chart to another chart but how to make the chart is going to stay with you Alrighty. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. Bye bye. Bye. Who's next? Align or Crystal? Crystal, do you have questions? Align, do you have any questions? Yes. As long as she gets the concept of the flowchart, what's the point of making it neat? Align, is that you? Is that you Sorry, telling me this? I just don't understand, like, um, if she knows so, how to look, make a flowchart and what's the purpose uh, of a flowchart. I don't really uh, the, see. Funny. Okay, wait, wait, let me show you. Let me show you what I, I had to grade and you guys want me to be satisfied with that. What guys, you guys are torturing me. That's not a flow chart. You know, the lines are not even straight. Gosh, please, please, please don't do that to me. Okay. Hi, Professor. How are you doing? Okay. Who is uh, is this Crystal? Alain, you had a question? Similar question? Different question? Oh yeah, it was on my um my week two mini lab report. I think. Hold on. Uh -huh. so, Crystal, think... what about your question? Is it about the lab report also? Oh uh, no, different question. Okay. It just question. says BI was not present for the overall feedback, so I was wondering if you could explain that a little bit more, like where. Um, okay. When yeah. the when you added the when you let me check the. Okay, when you added. Uh, uh, if you go back, can, uh, can I show you? Can I can I share your um, flowchart? Yeah, chart? you can. You can. Let me close the other two so I would only show yours. Okay, so I know which one I'm showing. Um, so it's, it, you know, when you write a report, it has to be consistent with the, gosh. Here. Uh, you see you are missing this part of the, the flow chart. But I thought that was for... Um... I know, it's blank, right? It's blank. Yeah. There's yeah. reason that it's blank. Why is blank? In the in the procedure, it said that that step was um, yes. What's uh -huh. it called? Yes. When you when you look at this, that means you, the and the precipitate did not form when you add ammonia. You could mm -hmm. have asked something and say precipitate did not form. And if precipitate doesn't form, there should be no bismuth, right? Because yeah. the precipitate forms. If the precipitate forms, then you have to add something else for look for the black spots, and then you say bismuth was present. But if the precipitate doesn't form, you're, if your flowchart, you're saying bismuth is not present, and then you come to the table, and you are saying that the bismuth was present, or in the conclusion. I, what I said that it indicated, indicated it. You're saying I, I didn't say it confirmed presence. it. Oh my God, indicated presence of 
bismuth. What indicated presence of bismuth? The clear blue solution. No. Precipitate says that you have bismuth. Clear blue solution is copper, is not bismuth. Oh, I I think I mixed up the last and the I know, second one. I know. I know. That's that's what I had to put in your in your comment. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let me stop sharing your document and I move on. Crystal, your question? Yes, Professor. Uh -huh. um, I just have one question about um, the week four video because when I click on week four, it didn't show um, the video. Yeah. It, only said, it doesn't show the video? Huh? It doesn't show the video? No, because when I click on week four, um, week four on to, um, to review week four video, it's so like week three. It's a uh, let me go to the, let me go to the tab. Crystal, let me stop, um, let me stop sharing, you know, let me stop recording.